Here at Glide, we believe that most businesses can benefit from using AI. Now, while you've probably used a few of these impressive AI tools, you're maybe still wondering about how you can actually connect this to your daily needs. In other words, how do you leverage AI for an entire company? Now, at Glide, we've been thinking about this a lot, and there are a few elements, but the core one for us is about bringing AI right inside of your business data, wherever that is, and then, of course, building powerful software on top of your teams. Now, whatever kind of operations you're running in your business, you're always gonna be dealing with data. It might just be simple raw data and a table, or it might have a layer of calculations and formulas on top. Whether it's databases or spreadsheets, these two layers are the foundation of the way that work gets done. But the next layer is AI, and it builds on top of that foundation, bringing in the ability to deal with words, images, audio, and ideas even. With AI, your data actually starts to gain a kind of real-world knowledge and maybe even some simple common sense. So, wouldn't it be nice if we built this right into Glide? Today, we're introducing Glide AI. It's not a new tool, it's a system built right into Glide. A set of simple building blocks for designing with AI in your data and your apps. And it's in Glide right now. So let's take a look. So this is a work order management app for a maintenance team that allows the team to go out to different locations, perform updates, and send all of that data back to head office. So this is the admin side of stuff that we're looking at here. We've got technicians out in the field, and let's view this now as one of the technicians, uh, Derek Jastin. Yeah, this guy. So. He's got a work order in progress, and if we go to one of his pages here, we can see that there's already a really useful screen for him here. Rather than using email or spreadsheets or things like that, everything's in one place for this particular work item. He does, however, have to enter things manually in field notes, and this isn't structured data, this is unstructured data. So we can do a lot more here. Similarly, with the lunch expense, he's just uploading the lunch expense, and then he has to input the total. And there's more information that we can get here. So let's switch over to the AI version of this app. So apart from the color change, there's a few things that you might notice that are different. As we scroll down the page, we can see that instead of inputting field notes manually, we've just got a record button, which allows him to speak freely whatever he's been up to, and then that will be transcribed. And then we get this AI summary, which is really useful. And then we get this structured data, which is where this gets really powerful. You get structured data out of unstructured data, which is then useful for further functionality, computations in your app, and just general business data. So we've got Booleans here, and I'll show you this in the data editor in a second, telling us whether certain things have passed or not. And if you read this text, you'll see that it does indeed match up. Past the manual checklist here, we get to the lunch expense, which he's uploaded. And we've got AI doing image extraction, sorry, uh, text extraction from that and then more columns looking at that text and extracting further data so finance for example could say uh, work out how many times people have been to the food club or what the average total expense is or even the contents of what people uh, might purchase for lunch as an example and we can also see whether the date matches up with this date lots of things here so let's look at how this is appearing in the data editor we've got one audio file which is then being transcribed here we then get a summary based on the generate text column. And then out of that, we also extract data in exactly the way that we want, which is just a CSV. And you can see my prompt here, based on the certain things, look for this and output the ones that aren't uh, that have issues. And then we have Glide's if then else column working out whether those are present. So we could imagine a scenario here where we say, look, a work order only passes if everything is true. And therefore these ones don't and so they might require further admin approval or things like that. Then we've got the expense side of things. So from one simple image upload, we get the expense extract, which is just this raw text from whatever the, uh, the AI sees in the image here. And then we have different structured AI columns, like what's the date on the receipt? Uh, we're asking for what the vendor is and also what the total is and things like that. So all of that from two columns uploaded by the user. <laughs> 